The Reveal 3D test makes it simple to screen for the presence of low levels of allergens in CIP rinses, food products and ingredients, and environmental swabs virtually anywhere. The test features a unique three-line design, including an overload line that makes it easy for the user to identify both positive and high positive samples. Each kit contains everything required to perform testing on CIP rinses and environmental swabs. In addition, several Reveal 3D tests have been validated to measure allergen content in a wide array of food products and ingredients. Materials for food sample testing are available separately. Please refer to neogen.com for details or contact your sales representative. Reveal 3D tests display results in just 5 minutes for all sample types, making these tests a great choice for on-site food allergen control. This video provides an overview of the proper use of Neogen's Reveal 3D Allergen Test Kits by demonstrating the Reveal 3D for Peanut Test Kit. Test procedures and materials for other Reveal 3D Allergen Tests may vary somewhat. Please consult the Product Kit Insert for further details. This presentation serves only as a visual guide to the written materials supplied with the test kit. To ensure accuracy in the performance of this test, please read and follow the test's written instructions in their entirety. This video covers the supplies needed to run a test, the extraction of allergens from rinse water samples, environmental swabs, and food samples, a demonstration of a Reveal 3D test procedure, and an interpretation of Reveal 3D test results. The materials provided with Neogen's Reveal 3D for Peanut test include one foil pouch containing 10 Reveal 3D for Peanut devices, 10 sachets containing extraction buffer, 10 sample tubes and caps, 10 individually packaged sterile swabs with breakoff tips, one bottle of swab wetting solution, written test instructions. Additionally, a timer is necessary. A 1000 microliter pipetter is recommended for liquid sample measurement. Other Reveal 3D tests may require a 250 microliter pipetter for sampling. For food sample testing, Neogen's 3D food buffer will be required, along with a 50 milliliter graduated sample tube or other appropriate container for extraction. Remove the test kit from refrigeration and allow it to reach room temperature before use. This generally takes 20 to 30 minutes. To test a CIP rinse, remove one sample tube and cap, and an extraction buffer. The Reveal 3D test requires only a small amount of liquid sample to be tested. Therefore, it's important to ensure the rinse sample is well mixed and homogeneous before testing. Carefully tear or cut off the top of the extraction buffer sachet and add the entire contents to the sample tube. Add 0.25 milliliters of rinse sample into the sample tube. Secure the white cap and shake for one minute. The sample is now ready for testing. Samples should be tested within three hours of extraction. Remove the test kit from refrigeration and allow it to reach room temperature before use. This generally takes 20 to 30 minutes. You'll need one sample tube and cap, one sterile swab, and one extraction buffer for each environmental surface you want to sample. Carefully tear or cut off the top of the extraction buffer sachet and add the entire contents to the sample tube. If testing a flat surface, estimate a swabbing area of approximately 10 by 10 centimeters. Alternatively, use the swab to collect samples from problem areas like processing equipment, mixers, or filler heads. If you're swabbing a dry surface, remove a sterile swab from the packaging and moisten with swab wetting solution. Do not pre-moisten for wet samples. Swab your 10 by 10 centimeter area using a crosshatch technique while revolving the swab on the surface. Repeat the swabbing procedure using movements at right angles to those used in the first swabbing. Place the swab into the sample tube that contains the extraction buffer, then carefully break off the moistened end at the pre-scored mark so that it remains in the tube. Secure the sample tube's cap. Make sure that the stem does not prevent the tube from being properly sealed. Shake for one minute. 
The sample is now ready for testing. Samples should be tested within three hours of extraction. Remove one Reveal 3D test device from a foil pouch that has warmed to room temperature. Remove the lid from the sample tube, then completely fill the lid with liquid from the sample tube. Any froth should remain in the tube. Dip the head of the Reveal 3D device into the liquid in the lid. Ensure the cavity is saturated with the liquid. Hold the device in the lid until you see liquid flowing up the test window. As soon as the liquid has entered the test window, place the device flat on a level surface. It is essential that the device lays flat on the level surface as this stimulates flow through the device. Set the timer for five minutes and allow the test to develop. Interpret the test results within one minute of the completion of the five minute incubation period. Observations made after six minutes may be inaccurate due to overdevelopment of the device. An extraction procedure is available for food samples on certain Reveal 3D tests. Please be sure to consult the respective kit insert for details on the procedure, as there may be slight variations in the testing method between allergens. As earlier, please pull the appropriate 3D test device out of the refrigerator and allow 20 to 30 minutes to reach room temperature. Add 20 milliliters of Reveal 3D food buffer into a 50 milliliter tube or other appropriate container. If you're testing a liquid sample, Add 18 milliliters of buffer. Add 2 grams of sample to the tube. If you're testing a liquid sample, add 2 milliliters of sample. For all food samples, ensure that the sample is homogeneous and is taken from a representative portion of the product. Please consult the Neogen Food Allergen Handbook or contact a Neogen representative for proper sampling techniques. Secure cap and shake for one minute. Tilting the tube at approximately a 45 degree angle, dip the Reveal 3D device into the tube, ensuring that the cavity is saturated with liquid. Once liquid is seen flowing up the test window, please lay the device on a flat surface and allow the test to develop for five minutes as described previously. Note the device's T, O, and C zones. The T zone is for the test line, the O zone for the overload line, and the C zone for the control line. If your device does not develop a control line, the test should be considered invalid and the sample should be reanalyzed. T, O, and C lines can vary in intensity, therefore any intensity of the line should be interpreted as a line. Negative result. Lines visible at positions O and C, but not at T, indicate a negative result. The level of peanut in the sample was determined to be below the test's detection limit. Positive result. Lines visible at positions O and C, together with a line of any intensity visible at position T, indicate the level of peanut in the sample was determined to be at or above the test's detection limit. High positive results. A line visible at position C, no line visible at position O, and a line visible or absent at position T indicates the sample is overloaded or has a high level of contamination. If you have questions about your results or any of the procedures demonstrated in this video, please contact your Neogen representative.